Better Booty Day 4. It's going to be a good time. Got 48 dumbbell 45 degree hypers, 36 standing semi straight leg kickbacks, and that would be per leg. 60 extra range side lying hip abductions, again per leg. 150 body weight frog pumps and 60 banded clamshells. And again, all of this is done in three sets. And I'm going to have a yoga finisher, probably about 30 minutes. So that's day four. For the dumbbell 45 degree hyper, one of the things you want to keep in mind is to keep your back rounded as you come up and go down. And you forcefully push your hips into the bench. Toes are pointing out. Hold your dumbbell. Keep your back rounded. Forcefully push your hips into the bench. Keeping your back rounded as you come up. So instead of coming up with a flat back, you stay rounded. And that's the 45 degree hyper with a dumbbell. Standing semi straight leg kickback. If you don't have a cable machine, you can use a band for this exercise. So you're going to have your ankle attached to the cable. You're going to brace yourself. You want to choose a weight that's right for you. And I tend to keep one hand on my hip and you kick back. It's called semi straight because your leg does stay, or your knee stays slightly bent. And then kick back. And that's the semi straight leg kick back. Extra range side lying hip abductions. For this, you're going to need a bench, and you probably want an extra level surface, whether that's a bench or a chair or whatever, for you to rest your leg on. So I'm at the end of my bench so that my leg can come all the way down. That's the extra range part. You're going to lie on your side. And I have this extra bench here to support this knee. And it works just like any other hip abduction, except you have this extra range because you're able to come down further. So you want to keep your hips stacked. And you come up and down. Up and down. So you're coming straight up. Hips remain stacked as you come down and up. So you don't want to be too far forward or too far back. It's just straight up from the side. Come all the way down, all the way up. And you switch and do the other side. Show you the opposite side. Same process, staying at the end of your bench. Knee is supported. My foot is flat. Just come up and down. Again, it's straight up. Hips are stacked. Not too far back, not too far forward. Just straight up and down. You may find that one side is stronger <laughs> than the other. All the more reason to do these single leg exercises. Body weight frog pumps. They are very similar to glute raises except for how you place your feet. So your feet are going to be together like this, so your legs make like frog legs. So your soles of your feet are together. 
kind of close to your to your bottom lay back keep your core tight and then it's basically a glute raise from here so your feet stay together the soles of your feet and you come up and squeeze get full extension come back down And have your feet as close to your bottom as you can. And that is the bodyweight frog pump. Banded clamshells. For these, you want your band just above your knees. Feet are stacked. Hips are stacked. Knees are stacked. Lie on your side. You can come all the way down or you can be on your elbow. You're going to forcefully push your knee up and come back down. Maintaining tight core. It's called a clamshell because it kind of looks like a clamshell opening up. So you do all your sets on one leg, switch and do the other side. Or you can do one set, switch, doing the other set on the other side, come back and switch back and forth. It's up to you. I tend to just do all one side and then the other really gets a nice burn going. It's a good time. <laughs>